Aquaculture and Marine Science Institute expanding the local poultry market with the opening of its piggery farm at its North Andros facility. Well, Desmond Saunders was there. Ramsey's new piggery unit sits on 800 acres and houses 16 swines. Executive Chairman Senator Terrell Young feels the focus now is to create a more robust breed of pigs in the Bahamas that will grow and expand the local poultry market. This will import the local market um, based on the bloodline, keeping the bloodline strong. You have a lot of farmers throughout the Bahamas who can afford to bring in these uh, breeds, these pure breeds um, from other countries. So Bamsi took on the, the um, initiative to bring these in and then distribute them, grow them out and distribute them at a lower cost to farmers to try and assist them with uh, their farm and, 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 and food security basically will be the end goal. Minister of Tourism, Investments and Aviation, Deputy Prime Minister, the Honorable Chester Cooper contends the big farm is just part of government's continuous push for national food security. Over the years, we have grown pigs all across the islands of the Bahamas. We've done so in a very organic way. And in order to continue to advance agriculture uh, in the Bahamas and across the islands, we need BAMSI so that we're doing it uh, to best practice. Uh, we're doing it most efficiently. And we are able to uh, significantly reduce the level of import of pork uh, across the country. So as you would imagine as consumers uh, for everything from, from bacon to ham and everything in between uh, pork products and if we're able to do this successfully uh, we would be able to reduce the level of foreign exchange leaving the country. Bamsey's livestock coordinator Cordina Colbrook is elated to witness this historic moment. Hopefully the program can start up so that our farmers can produce their own piglets for sale, weaners, and they can produce meat to put the meat on the market for consumers. From farm to plate, officials hope this venture could grow an already lucrative market and reduce the nation's reliance on foreign imports as well as cultivate the Bahamas as a global leader in the agriculture industry. Desmond Saunders, The Bahamas Tonight.